go ahead and break down this card. And it is surprising opening fight. We have Jack Shore, who at one point in time was somebody the UFC was pushing. We have Yusuf Zalal, who's on the come up. Left the UFC, came back, has been on an absolute tear. So opening up the UFC Edmonton fight card, we have two people that live nowhere near Canada at featherweight. We got Jack Shore, 17-2 and two in his career. He is 3-2 and two in his last five. He's coming off the disgusting loss to Joe Anderson Brito. We have Yusuf Zalal, 15-5 and five in his career. He is 5-0 and oh in his last five. He is riding a two-fight submission streak in his return to the UFC. How long do you guys think Jacob sticks to this bit? You think he'll be fake asleep through my entire breakdown? Now he has to be because I mentioned it. We got Jack Shore on the... First, look at him smirking. It's getting there. He's not really selling it. We got Jack Shore... On the first half of this fight, I mentioned that disgusting loss he's coming off of. He was just beat by Joe Anderson Brito where he didn't do much. His legs got absolutely smoked and his shin bone was exposed. But skill-wise, outside of that mauling by Joe Anderson Brito, he's a good grappler. He likes to move forward. He's constantly looking for a takedown. Both his wrestling and his striking are forward pressure styles. He'll work in his own kicks nicely all around. A pretty good fighter with some decent striking differential. And he averages about three takedowns per fight. He's taking on Yusuf Zalal. I mentioned he was cut last year. Oh, Jacob gave up the bit. I mentioned he was cut last year. But then he got a bunch of regional wins. He came back and he has been an absolute buzzsaw. Style-wise, he's a pretty well-rounded fighter. He's kept all the things that he was good at and then added a few more things to make him more exciting. So he is still a calculated distance striker. He's not going to come in, swing wild, get into a slug fight. He'll hang on the outside. He'll find his shots. He'll find his openings. He is now more aggressive of a wrestler than he has been. He's averaging about two takedowns per fight. He has been grappling more as of late. Striking style, I mentioned, stay in the outside point fight. Very high fight IQ kind of guy, so don't expect him to come in swinging wild. He is only hit with 1.73 significant strikes per minute, which is absolutely spectacular considering he has six decisions in the UFC. One of those was against Ilya Teporia. He is coming off the destruction of Jarno Ahrens where he had some early leg kicks and then a beautifully timed takedown. As soon as they hit the ground, it was a completely different fight. This is the 2.0 version of Yusuf Zalal. I was... I was not fully on board with this version. I am now. Two spectacular return fights in the UFC. You are. I sure I am. Two the fuck you are. I mean, if you're not learning, if you're not watching these fights and evolving your opinions, what the hell are you doing with yourself? If you're not being has, a little bitch boy. He's looked absolutely great. The wrestling has been spectacular. The ground game is just absolutely next level. I picked against him in his first fight back in the UFC. I have come to my senses he was on the call-in show a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago at this point. The positive energy, the vibes. He just feels like a guy that knows how good he is, knows the work he's put in. You can feel the confidence, feel the energy, and I think all of that is going to ride right into here. He's pretty affordable at minus 240. I understand Jack Shore is good in his last loss. You can call it a fluke if you want, but I think Yusuf Zalal is going to out-grapple the grappler, and he's going to be too technical a striker on the outside for Jack Shore to come rush in. So Yusuf is the pick, and I'm pretty confident in that, and I'm surprised his line is staying where it is. What do you think, Jakey Boy? Yeah, I mean, this guy, Jack Shore, is just going to fucking smoke Yusuf. Listen, I, I know I've been on the Yusuf train uh, for quite a while, but uh, uh, this uh, full-body, chiseled man uh, of a Shore being that of Jack it's just going to absolutely destroy this guy. He's got no no fucking chance in the fucking world. Uh, listen, this little dough boy, this Darren Till body, <laughs> Jack Shore. Um, his, his, father is yell- his father has yelled at you in the past for saying that. Yeah, because I said, uh, I can't remember if it was Called him a dough boy. or something. No, I said, he's got, I said this Darren Till body. Um, and they didn't appreciate that. I think Darren Till's got a beautiful body, but they didn't appreciate that. Like, Thanks for your concern or something. And then he got smoked. But um, <laughs> listen, Jack, Jack Shore is better than I think people are giving him credit for this fight. Listen, Yusuf's my boy. I, I got Yusuf to win this fight. I think he can he can dominate this fight if he wants to. But Jack Shore is a good fighter. He knows how to wrestle. He knows how to grapple. He's a very good boxer. What I believe is going to happen is Jack Shore is going to get frustrated because his his 
Good technical boxing is not going to be able to touch Yusef because Yusef is too good. As Angel mentioned, does never, never really gets hit. His footwork's too good. His head movement's too good. He knows how to get out of the way of good boxing. Jack Shore is going to get frustrated and probably just try to grab Yusef, hold him against the fence, know that he can't really take him down because I don't see him like just ragdolling a guy like Yusef. But he's going to try and score by just stalling out on the fence with forward pressure, get him against the fence. And the, what I worry about a little bit is this could turn into one of Yusef's older fights, which were decision fights. And a lot of those decisions were close where he lost because a lot of times when he is being very elusive, it kind of looks like he can be running away at times. And I don't want an optics fight to where Yusef is, is running away from the striking, is doing enough to win the fight, but then, it, you know, Canadian judges, who knows? So I, I hope that Yusuf comes in, um, sticks on the button a little bit more. Obviously, if he uses the offense of, of wrestling and grappling, he can definitely dominate Jack Shore on the ground. But um, Yusuf's a tough dude, and uh, he's he should be just better than Jack everywhere. So I'm, I'm definitely going to law, and I think he can get it done and uh, submit this guy. But I just hope optically, if this starts turning into a decision fight, it's not the optics of Yusuf. I mean, Jack is certainly the more forward pressure of the two, but I, just the way Yusuf has worked in wrestling in his last couple of fights, the way he just smoked Jarno Aarons, not that Jarno was amazing, but he's a dog. Yusuf, they didn't I just, force that stuff either. Like, there's yeah. different. Like, we watch he Isaac, and Isaac is Isaac is gonna go for a takedown instantly, no matter what. That's just what he does. But Yusuf just kind of makes the read. He makes the reads. People get frustrated because he can't hit the guy. So that's when they start to overextend, and then he times those takedowns beautifully. So yeah, Yusuf's very very good. Yeah, so I'm on that side. Minus 240 seems affordable to me. Uh, obviously, Jack Shore has had quite a bit of success in his MMA career, but I just, I'm just, uh, I'm just feeling this next generation of Yusuf Zalal. Ninety one hundred dollars in DraftKings fantasy. Listen, in his first stint in the UFC, that's a horrible price tag. He was a decision guy. In this latest stint, he is buzz sawing people, just running right through them. So now it's Is like, like a oh, copy man. and paste in your script or something. You I said buzz saw a couple of times. Like a new word that you can you have like an Excel sheet where it's like the word of the week and it like chat GPT like puts it in randomly because you just like that word or something on your calendar. I, I mean, that's what he's doing. He's cutting right through them like a buzz sucking on those cough drops, huh? It's, I mean, I just want to keep this voice sultry and, and well, ready to I go. I think you're uh, like uh, Arthur Spooner and. I'm addicted to the Vicks, spray. or no, uh, Afrin. Anyway, I think Yusuf gets it done. I'm, I'm torn on that price tag because last last two fights, buzzsaw, worth the money. Fights before that, little tricky. I, I don't know. We'll take a close look. Jack can be finished. He's been finished in both of those losses, frankly. But, uh, yeah. Frankly, we all, he's been finished, frankly. That wasn't a good impression at all. If you do want to check out all the picks, the bets, the round line leans, artificial intelligence, everything else for four cards, which includes UFC 309, you can do so now. WeWantPicks.com. Click Become a Member. At the top, it's $10 for an entire freaking month. My neighbor's watching this, the one from the troll video, and he said, is Angelo eating a Werther's? You know he just eats Werther's all day? I was like, dude, that's an Werther's old lady so snack. Good. It's such an old lady snack, They're though. so good, dude. It, dude that is I'm an not going to old... clown on somebody for eating Werther's, dude. That's one of the I best am. Candies. Of all the snacks, old lady snack. No thanks. Or those originals, baby. Put those in a freezer, too. Really suck on them.